So we have this hall, and it's perfect for storing bikes, pitching retrieving men, flying drones, and taking videos. But there's one problem. We have basically no artificial light in this area. So we researched video light options. If we are going to make the hall bright, we are going to make it really bright. For that, we are looking for a setup with a light output of at least 40,000 lumens. For good efficiency, we wanted LEDs. Conventional incandescent light bulbs like this one are cheaper, but for the same light output, use around 7 times more electricity than LEDs. For the output we were looking for, that would mean 4,000 watts being used. Since all that wattage gets turned into heat, that would mean that those bulbs would put out more heat than a kitchen oven. And that's not really comfortable to sit in front of, nor is it environmentally friendly, especially if you're using an AC to get that heat out of the house. So we're looking for powerful LED lights with a solid stand. We found out that all setups with enough output were $2,000 or up. So we tried some in the $500 range. None of them were strong enough to light up the whole area. Also, some had fans. It was okay for photography, but in videos, you can hear the fans humming in the background. Powerful lights can also be very hard to look into. Diffusers solve that problem and also soften the shadows, but they also reduce the light output, meaning that you need more powerful, thereby more expensive lights. Most light stands we looked at didn't feel as sturdy as we would have liked, which makes them cheaper and easier to produce. But they're also lighter, therefore easier to move from one location to another, which is something we don't plan to do very often. Many lights, even from well-known brands, also had no electrical safety certifications, which is surprising and should also be a warning sign. Manufacturers usually get their products certified if they're built solid with proper safety standards. Since we couldn't find what we needed at a reasonable price, we decided to make our own light stands. We wanted a solid setup that would combine high output with maximum flexibility. Let's look at what our design can do, then we'll break it down. This is a sunlight reflective mode. You can use it with the original panel, or you can clamp on any other reflector, depending on what you need. Here we have the artificial light reflective mode, and just like the sunlight reflective mode, you can use the original silver panel, or you can change it to any other reflector, uh, white, gold, bronze, whatever your heart desires. The reflective mode can be combined with gauze or other filters. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is direct light with gauze. The light pictures can also be used with soft boxes. When you loosen these three bolts, the arms can be rotated by 360 degrees so that the lamps provide very bright direct light. You can also rotate the arms to the front to give you indirect light from above which is more effective when your ceiling isn't so meters high. Did I mention that the stand can be raised to more than three and a half meters? That's 12 feet. We place the tripod legs of the light stands onto tri dollies. That makes them easily movable, even at 29 kilograms per stand. The lights are switched via remote controlled outlets. Not only are they convenient, but they are also not more expensive than manual inline switches. The two light fixtures on each stand are built up from an electrical box with four separate adjustable lamp holders. The electrical boxes and the lamp holders are made from cast aluminum. Like the bulbs and the other electrical components, they have proper safety certifications. When we researched light stands, we had realized that the speaker and light stands that DJs use are similar to the video light stands, but are built much sturdier and rated for much heavier loads. We bought two Rockville tripod lighting trees. The manufacturer gives them a load rating of 50 kilograms each. That might be a little bit optimistic, but our setup of lights and reflectors only weighs 20 kilograms. And with that load, the stands are very solid, even when extended to max height. Stability is also increased by the wide base circle of the legs. For lights, we went with standard spot bulbs with screw bases. They are available in many light output ratings, beam angles, and color temperatures. We decided to use 32 watt Phillips bulbs. We use 8 of these bulbs in each light stand, giving them a combined light output of 2000 watts of conventional lights. 
Details about the bulbs that we use can be found in the description. All in all, the license costs us less than $250 each. If you like a setup and are thinking about building your own, here is linked below video. There is also a smaller single panel version which is linked here. Thank, Thank you for, for joining, joining us! us.